Hey, what's up guys? It's River Falcon 40 with another video. This one is on a Hemi 420cc Predator engine. Um, yes, they do make a Hemi version. Here is your item number, 60349. Okay, like I said, they do make two Hemi versions. In case you forget this model number at the store, you could look here at 19.8 foot pounds at 3,600 RPMs. The other one puts out less. Okay, so I'm going to be mounting this, obviously, of course, if you guys have been watching my paint plumbing channel, this is going on a snowblower. Surprise, surprise. I have done um, a couple of Hemi 212 swaps. Um, I've sold them. This one's gonna be for me. Um, if anybody knows, I'm a huge fan of Arians. Um, my wife actually picked up an Arians 1128, which is absolutely our favorite machine. Um, but the engine had a hole in the block. So she paid 50 bucks for it, really not bent out of shape. I would even pay more for it. Gave me the perfect excuse to do something I always wanted to do, was put a 420cc. Originally I wanted to do a 22 horsepower engine, but the way the machine is designed, I can't reroute the auger, I mean the chute controls. So 420cc it is, still an improvement over the 11 horsepower. Um, machine does great with 11 on it. I already have three of them. This will be my fourth to our collection. Uh, but who doesn't want more power? So one thing I wanted to utilize from the 420cc was the battery key start, right? It's with the machine, why not utilize it? Now, what else I wanted to do was that I wanted to have the engine charge the battery as I'm using the machine. Why? Because I want to. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. But why not? So anyway, um, <clears throat> the other way to improve the amperage coming out of the 420cc engine is to add another coil. Now, believe it or not, there is another spot. See? Right here. Coil goes right here too. All right, so pull the engine cover off, right? I think there's like a one, two, three, four, five, five eight millimeter bolts. The engine cover comes off. After that, you're gonna see this plastic impeller. It's actually gonna be sitting on this, on the machine like this, with this cup, like this. It's a 15 16 nuts. If I take that off, the impeller comes off. And then you have your flywheel. See, this is my steering wheel puller from Harbor Freight. So um, I had to put a steering wheel puller on here and I got the flywheel off. So if you see here on the machine, here's your, here's your part for the um, coil, right, the charging coil. This is factory. And this is aftermarket. Thing ran me less than 15 bucks. These are M6, M6 metric bolts, bolt in right here. I put lock washers on them. Let's see if I can get this going. Yeah, forget I'm videotaping with one hand. clicks in. So you know you can click it in. Obviously tighten that down. Now, I don't know if you guys could see this wire here. Let me turn the lights around right now. Here we go. This wire here, I tucked it behind this pull tab and this tab actually pulls out. See? Ran it through the tab. Ran it through the tab and then you see this here, the top wire here, the bottom here. This rubber piece pulls out, slid it through, slide it back in. Tuck these wires back in the way they should be. Whoops. All right here, we're gonna split it a half and half. There you go, in, just like that. Out the side like the factory, and I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna wire it in. Here. 
Ah, it doesn't even have a part number. So I will put the link into the auction to the charging coil that I used. And like I said, I want to run, I want it to charge the battery. So I also ordered a voltage regulator as well. And I will put a link into that too. There is your part number. And yeah, you know what? Let's do an open box. Let me open this up real quick. Bear with me, guys. All right, we're good. All right, so I'm getting you guys woozy. Here are the specs, part number, and specs. And this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna mount this somewhere on the machine, wire it in, and we're gonna be charging, blowing snow, no more pulling the pull cord. Unless something happens. And uh, I'm gonna run some LED lights as well. I will definitely post a video when I'm all finished up. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to ask, like, subscribe to my page to see more updates on snowblowers, mowers, and predator swaps, as well as the where this is going and on the machine itself to see the end result of this thing slinging some snow. Um, pretty exciting, can't wait to get it done. Appreciate it, guys. Later.